Good evening, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0. Today is day 23, and we are still working through opportunities. And I wanted to show you a recent release and a uh, very cool opportunity to enhance communication between agents and leadership and compliance within opportunities. And so I'm going to show you that by diving into the opportunities applet or submenu here on the left hand side. That is the sixth one down. We're going to open up the test opportunity that we've been working on for a few days here, our 123 Main Street opportunity, and we're going to go into the Documents tab. So when we are in the Documents tab, you will see once we have selected a checklist, we have this Add Comment button. So if we click on Add Comments, we have the ability to enter a message here, and that comment will then be able to be seen by anyone that can access this opportunity. So I could type in a simple opportunity like, I mean, excuse me, a simple comment like, just waiting on the signed um, non-realty items addendum, right? And I could put my initials, maybe I'll even put the date, and I can leave that in here as a message. If I want to come back later on and see what that note or comment was, you can see that now there's this little icon here on the right hand side that shows up that there is a comment in this folder. Once we go to under contract, I have the ability to add comments to that folder. And I also have abilities to add comments to the closed folder. So when I come back into the listing folder or listed folder, I can click on those comments and I can see these comments that I have left. You also have the ability to tag or at sign people that are on your leadership team. So say, for example, you wanted to tag your compliance coordinator or your team leader or your productivity coach. Once you click on the at sign, you're going to get a list of people that you can tag. So in my world, this is my compliance coordinator, my MCA, my broker, my TL. I have my agent services coordinator and uh, my assistant um, MCA in here as well. So I can just simply click on one of these and I could say at Randy Olive, this is the transaction I was telling you about earlier if you want to take a look at my documents. Okay, so I can click on add reply and now in Randy's command, he's now going to get a notification alert that's going to show up and I'm going to show you kind of what that looks like from the reverse side. So I am obviously a leadership team member in my market center. And so I'm going to log out of my account. I'm going to log in to my wife's account and I'm going to show you kind of what that looks like from the other side. So she, as the agent dives into opportunities and she creates an opportunity real quick. We're just going to create a basic test opportunity. And I'll show you kind of what that looks like. And we're, we're not going to put any of the details in. We're just going to test this out real quick with you guys. So now she's in documents. She's going to choose a checklist type. As soon as she does that, she's going to get her folders opened. And she has the ability to add a comment to the listed folder. So she could click on add comment and she could at sign me because I'm a member of the leadership team. She can then send me a message. This is a test message to show how notifications show up, right? Whatever, something along those lines. She could send me any kind of notification and click add reply. Now it shows up here and if she X's out, it's also going to show up here. Okay, so we're now going to log out of her account and I'm just going to show you what it looks like on your leadership team member side, what they end up seeing. So. I can do that, log back into my account. You'll see I now have a notification. When I click on that notification, it says Nicole Keith has left a message for the listed in the seller listing, right? So in the listed folder is what this should say. And then this is the name of the opportunity because we didn't create a name. This is the default name is seller dash listing. And here's the message at Marty Miller. This is a test message to show how notifications show up. I, as the leadership member, can click here to go to that opportunity. It's actually going to pull me into her opportunity. 
so that I can see whatever she wanted me to see. Maybe she wanted me to review a document. Maybe she wanted me to just tech check it. Maybe she just wanted me to have access because I'm her coach and um, she knows that she's supposed to report in as an agent in my market center any listings or you know buyer transactions she takes so I can track my numbers for my coach as well. So I can see her comment when I click here in the little button there next to the listed folder. This is a test message to show how notifications show up. Now I have two choices replying back to Nicole. I can just type a simple message. Here's a test message number one. Now, because I did not actually at sign her, she's not gonna get a notification that this message comes in, but she will see it the next time she looks in the folder comments. However, if I wanna make sure she sees it, I can at sign her back and say, here's a test message number two. So I'll click on add reply, and this is me replying back to her. And now we can exit out of that. I can log out, go back into Nicole's account. And she'll now have alert in her account. You can see the red dot shows up. And uh, don't worry about this. This was me testing earlier. Uh, but because I said at Nicole Keith, she's getting the notification. So she can click here to dive into her opportunity and then click on the comments next to this folder. And she's going to see both comments. But again, if you want to have a notification show up, and again, typically this is going to be for agents making sure that notifications show up for their compliance coordinator, MCA, team leader, productivity coach, whatever it may be, you gotta make sure that you're using that at mention so that they actually get the notification there. Um, as a heads up, this also works in Kelly. So if I were to pull up my Kelly right now, I can tell you that I would have several notifications because I've been testing this this evening just to make sure everything was working appropriately. And so when I pull up my Kelly, I'll actually have a little red number. Right now it actually says four, and it shows me that I have a notification from Nicole because she mentioned me and I can actually click on view and it'll tell me which opportunity from within Kelly that she mentioned me in. And so then I could dive into my command and pull that up from there. All right, so that's basically folder level messaging. You have the ability to uh, put messages in here for your own sake, for your team's sake, um, and then, of course, for your leadership team member's sake, the ability to not only put notes for them, but use the at mention so that they get a no notification as well. Guys, hope you're all having a fantastic Saturday, enjoying your weekend. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much for your time.